Hey everybody, Gary here. And while HDR images can be eye-catching, they're easily overdone. Today I want to show you how using local adjustments and luminance masks can help you fine-tune an HDR image. So you can change something that looks like this into something like this. So let's get started. We're going to start by adjusting the exposure so that we have a little more contrast to work with after we develop our raw file. And just going to tweak the brightness highlights here just so we don't have any clipping. And we're going to zoom into the rocks and uh, we're going to bring up the detail a little bit. That looks good. Now we're just going to try and get rid of some of this uh, luminance noise in the sky just until that noise starts to disappear. Okay, and now we can develop our image. Now that we've developed our image, we want to select the shadows in our image and apply a curves adjustment just to the shadow areas. We go to the curves adjustment and bring down the shadow point. It's going to be a pretty steep curve, but you can see already we're bringing a little more brightness and crunch to the rocks and vegetation there. So we're going to invert our pixel selection and we're going to run another curves adjustment just on the highlights. And in this case, we're just trying to bring out more uh, sort of structure and presence uh, a little more contrast to the clouds. And you can see that two problems occur uh, because of these adjustments. One is that sort of fringe along the edge between the land and sky. And the other is the burning of highlights in the waterfall, which we definitely don't want. So we're just going to brush away that portion of the adjustment layer. Just like that. using a black brush over the that portion of the adjustment layer and that looks good now the fringe is more difficult to deal with um, but we're going to start by selecting the small area where the two adjustment layers actually overlap so we're going to use the intersect and we're going to select that shadows layer and you can see we've just got that sliver and we're actually going to delete the portion. We'll delete the portion of the shadows curves adjustment just so we have a finer fringe, which we can uh, deal with um, in post, perhaps after the video. Now we want to apply an HSL adjustment just so we can add a little more color, a little more interesting color. We're going to bring out the vegetation a little, bring up the saturation, maybe a little yeah, shift it to the warmer tones. It's looking pretty good. Again, just applying this to the shadow region. Also going to bring out uh, some color in the rocks. We can see these reddish, reddish tones in the rocks. Okay, that looks good. And next we're going to add a brightness and contrast uh, adjustment to the shadow area again. But again, we don't want this applied to all shadows. We're going to paint in the brightness and contrast just to those areas that we want um, our viewers attention drawn to. So we're going to invert um, that adjustment layer. And we're just going to paint in with a white brush. See the brightness coming into the falls, along the rocks, along the vegetation facing the sunlight. Get a lot more a lot more crunch that just looks just looks a little better and there now I think that's starting to look pretty good um, now normally I don't do this but I think this is a good subject for a directional lighting effect which we can do in affinity photo um, we actually have to select the background image layer uh, just go to um, filters lighting there we go and you can actually select the position of the light source, the intensity, and we can just adjust the width 
position of those cones. There we go. Okay. So that sort of softened our image just slightly. I, I do like the look, but we're going to introduce, sorry, reintroduce some sharpness to the image by uh, flattening the image so far into a single pixel layer. So we're just going to merge visible. And now we're going to use um, a high pass filter. Um, and when we zoom in, we just want to bring up the high pass filter until we can see those fine edges apply. And we're going to set our uh, blend mode to, let's see, we've got a few different ones to choose from, but I think in this case, maybe hard, maybe hard light. Yeah. All right. So that's looking pretty good. I think we can still maybe tweak the color, um, you know, with a filter or something and, and get rid of the remnants of that fringe in post. But for now, I'd say we're ready to export. And before you know it, we'll have uh, a lovely image for Instagram that I'm sure is going to get a, uh, a ton of likes. So that's it. Easy, right? If you've got any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments section below. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, subs if you loved it. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you get notified the next time I upload something else. And until next time, take more photos. Later.